So this is the entrance to Kalbarri National Park and the pay area we're just trying to sort out Kalbarri National Park. So yeah we've got nature's window to tick the box obviously the Kalbarri Skywalk and if we get some time we might have a look at the Z-Bend nice and early um, shouldn't be too bad with heat there's some trails that you're not allowed on after a certain time apparently they sting you quite heavily for it as well so it's just like the last one we went on 15 bucks for a vehicle she's looking for a receipt collect ticket there there we go she's got it it's automated and it looks like they have a uh, a box that's um way there so yeah must have somebody that supervises the place at more reasonable hours as you can tell by the sunrise we're a little earlier today but uh, the road's nice and quiet already I just parked up with the first van obviously being early at the, uh, the park up area at the Kalbarri there's a lot of spots here one two three four might get five vans in here if you're lucky Anyway, I've got the uh, security on, I've got my wheel clamp, and I've got my uh, tow wall lock. The other thing I got here, I don't know whether you can see that, I got a little tile, and uh, that might be good for um, just tracking the trailer in case it gets uh, stolen as well. So I'll pop, uh, I've got that hidden into a spot, and uh, we can track that with my phone. So, uh, about to leave. Next spot. Alrighty, testing, testing. Hope that works. We have made it. We made it to Calvary. Um, yeah, quick little drive from Galeen River there. Um, probably took us about an hour and a half, I suppose, from there to here. But uh, dropped the trailer off at that uh, pay station. Another quick little jaunt down. We, we come to the nature's window first, mainly because of um, hopefully it's not too busy here and we can get a little picture at the window. And then we can go to the, um, the sky bridge one. So, yep, where are we gonna go? Well, we're just there to there. Easy peasy. How's that for the river winding its way? It has just cut up a huge big swathe through the uh, countryside there. It's certainly pretty massive. Every day brings new light to help us on our way. Always taking my breath. Whether sun or rain The wind will carry us over That horizon we see Is getting closer
So there you go, nature's window, Calvary. Very nice, look at that, beautiful. Got here early, there was just a couple here, they've gone. We've had this for the last 15 minutes by ourselves, it's nice. Wind, very nice, could be a bit windier over there by the skywalk, but uh, driving was good. Nice walk down to about the last uh, probably 100 metres, 150 metres. Then it's just a little bit of rocky stuff, easy to negotiate, and uh, the views are just incredible. So yeah, looking out, swings around here, swings around there, and swings back this way and around that way. Alrighty ho, Kelberry, part two. Um, the next spot is the sky walk. They so say we did uh, the nature's walk because it's early in the morning and hopefully there's not too many people around and uh, that was good, tick, tick, tick. Um, now we're at the sky walk part of it, parking. There's a few, I wouldn't call it hundreds of parks, but there's a few parks. Um, and van wise, we've got, there, there was a area here for larger vehicles. There's about five here and there's about five on the other, other side. So for us and the van, it's good. But I can see how it'll be a push if you had a caravan, you're just clogging everything up here. So leave your caravan down by the old uh, station where you begin. Let's check out the Skywalk. Here we are, Colberry Skywalk, giving it a crack. Look at that. Man, it's a long way out there. It doesn't look very far from when you're on land, but when you walk out, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome feet. So, out over there was the uh, nature's window, and there's a walk that you can do down that rut there, and then around, around that knob that you see there, the river goes around, and then back again couple we just passed that we're going to go and do it and then yeah just a vast amount of land Murchison River got a nice bit of flow down here you can see it coming over that little bit of rapid there so it's pretty good for the Murchison at this time of the year and then number two number two skywalk sitting out there she's already already been over there and knocked it all off she's not got any fear of heights and a cafeteria up over there and the other thing too which is quite quite interesting oh there's my shadow you can see it down against the rock wall there that's the cliff face and then boom over the edge and down the guts here comes Jude come on give me a uh, rundown of what you think of the Calberry Skywalk my dear get into the picture Mating. Pretty Mating, love it. awesome, well worth the trip, well worth the early morning giddy up. Yeah, I'm just waiting for your head Ooh. to fly off. <laughs> well, she's, she's anchored in here. She needs to be, I took mine off and nearly went flying. <laughs> well, you're going to have to fix up a little bit of wind noise on this one, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see how good this little uh, microphone sock is that I've got on here. But, um, yeah, nice spot, eh? It's... Well, I understand the pie's really nice, so I'm going to go and get a cup of coffee and a pie. Did someone say pie? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, I've got to go and have a walk along the other one, or is it much like this one? Uh, yeah. Different angle of the dangle? Ah. So just meandering out to Skywalk number two. 
is looking grand. What a vista. Beautiful vista. I reckon there could be some trout down there. <laughs> nah. Pretty awesome. So many views. So many different spots of awe. Time to check out that pie shop. I think Jude might have been Kablari Skywalk Kiosk. Oh no, the coffee machine's out of order. Well there you go. Pie in hand and wind starting to pick up. So uh, I believe we timed that very, very well. Heading back to the van now. I don't know whether we do Z-Bend. Well, we'll discuss it and see. We might drive and have a quick look. This wind might be the uh, deciding factor. Who knows where we might end up next. Well, as you can probably tell by the sound that is whistling past the uh, the phone, uh, we didn't stop at uh, Z Bend, and the wind got up pretty strong. We we're really, really lucky with uh, what we copped at uh, the, the Skywalk there. We're now down at uh, Kalbarri and there it is the Murchison River heading out to sea so we've slept by it last night did our walk over the top of it today and uh, there it goes past us so this is a little unstaged um, whoa. <laughs> it's an unstaged stop at Kalbarri but uh, we had a recommendation to uh, Steve uh, Jude's brother said you must go down the coast so we're going to go down the coast and have a look on our way down towards Pink Lake hopefully we're just going to get, get some supplies here at Kalbarri Oh my crikey as you can see I've had to change my my dress attire to this uh, peach cap because it is windy as boogery um, Red Bluffs at uh, Kalbarri and uh, we're just going to go for a walk out to the point. Man, it looks fabulous, looks awesome. But uh, yeah, she's windy. I'll give you a swing there now. Here we go, got a little uh, Captain George Gray. Uh, read about this one. This bloke, Gray, and his crew were exploring the Carnarvon area when disaster struck cyclonic uh, conditions destroyed one of the boats and the remaining two they rode for 56 hours to reach Kalbarri and then walked to Perth from here Jeez. so an interesting side note to Mr George Gray what's been quite interesting our drive along the um, the coastline there just through Kalbarri obviously I've been under under a tree for most of the time well in fact we were over in um, Kalgoorlie mining and never really heard a lot of the news and things or saw a lot of the pictures but yeah I knew Kalbarri took a bit of a hit from the uh, the cyclone but just driving now really brought it home how um, Kalbarri was affected there's there's still houses there that are absolutely decimated they got no roofs, no windows. Some of them are just no homes anymore. So uh, yeah, this place must have really copped it. But this time it's copping it from a land breeze, not a sea breeze. <laughs> oh, I had to uh, stop, stop my poor old gimbal there. She was blowing that hard. I think the gimbal was starting to burn itself out trying to keep, keep track with everything. So uh, yeah, Red Bluff, we were at the uh, corner of it there. And uh, yeah, if it wasn't for the wind, it'd be absolutely picture perfect.
Can't win them all. The Pink Lake, up Lagoon, Gregory down the way, we're on our way there now. The wind, yeah, it picked up. We were good with Calvary, but we copped it here, so I just tried putting the drone up. Jude will put some photos of those up. It wasn't my greatest success of flying. Um, it was struggling, it was telling me it didn't want to do it. <laughs> but here it is, the Pink Lake Gate. Blink blank and behind me there. Um lagoon or something they call it. Anyway, better get back to Jude. It'd be nice to have a, a high point to look out around here so you can see things. But on the way, 